Welcome to the culture of healthcare, health professionals, the people in healthcare. This is Lecture B. This component, the culture of healthcare, addresses job expectations in healthcare settings. It discusses how care is organized within a practice setting, privacy laws, and professional and ethical issues encountered in the workplace. The objectives for health professionals, the people in healthcare, are to define terms used in healthcare, including clinician, patient, disease, and syndrome, and in health professionals' education and training. Describe the education, training, certification, licensure, and roles of physicians, including those in primary care and other specialties. Describe the education, training, certification, licensure, and roles of nurses, advanced practice nurses, LPNs, MAs, and medication aides. Describe the education, training, certification, licensure, and roles of physician assistants, pharmacists, therapists, allied health professionals. Describe the education, training, certification, licensure, and roles of paramedics, EMTs, dental professionals, mental health professionals, and social workers. This lecture describes the education, training, certification, licensure, and roles of nurses. There are several ways to become a registered nurse. Diploma programs were more common in the past and were usually two- to three-year programs that focused mostly on clinical skills. An associate degree in nursing is a two-year program with a similar clinical focus. The BSN or Bachelor's of Science degree in nursing is the preferred degree program. It includes general study requirements, math, science, social sciences, and humanities, along with preclinical and clinical coursework. Nurses with a diploma or an associate degree may be able to attain a BSN using a bridge program that allows them to apply credit for courses already taken. Advanced practice nursing opportunities require a BSN, as does most nursing administration positions. Clinical training is a part of all three types of training programs. This includes coursework to gain an understanding of clinical principles and clinical work in hospitals and other healthcare settings to experience supervised clinical care. Entry-level positions often have a period from weeks to months where the new graduate works under the supervision of an experienced nurse. There are also a growing number of specialty training programs provided by hospitals. There is not a formal certification required for most nurses at the RN or BSN level. However, there are a growing number of nursing certification programs offered in specialty areas such as cardiac medicine, emergency nursing, medical surgical nursing, and pediatric nursing. There are usually eligibility requirements and an exam. Licensure requires completion of an accredited program and passing the National Council Licensure Exam Registered Nurse NCLEX RN. The NCLEX RN is a nationally administered test required by all states and the District of Columbia. It is administered by the National Council of State Boards of Nursing. Like a physician licensure, specific requirements are determined by the states, and there is some opportunity for obtaining reciprocal licenses in other states. Nurses provide ongoing direct patient care. In the last decade, nursing assistants, medical assistants, or patient care associates have assumed much of the bedside care. This includes duties such as obtaining vital signs and support for activities of daily living, such as eating, sleeping, and hygiene. This has allowed nurses to provide direct medical care to more patients. This includes taking a medical history, starting and maintaining intravenous fluids, bedside laboratory testing, administering medications, wound care, and the monitoring of physiological parameters. Nurses also have a prominent role in providing patient education and emotional support. The bulk of hospital nursing occurs on medical surgical units. In some hospitals, both types of patients are cared for in a single unit. 
In other hospitals, there are separate units for medical and surgical patients. There is a certification for medical surgical nurses, but it is not required by most hospitals. There is an increase in specialized nursing units in larger and tertiary care hospitals. One example of a specialized nursing role is diabetic nursing, which has a prominent role in the education of new diabetics. Rehabilitation units care for patients who have recovered from serious injuries or illness but need assistance in recovering function. Neurosurgery units care for patients who have an injury to or disease of the brain and spinal cord. There is also a growth in hospitals, creating separate buildings to care for specific types of patients. The more common separate buildings include pediatric care, cardiac care, rehabilitation, and cancer care. Nurse practitioners are usually required to earn a master's degree in nursing with specific clinical and diagnostic training. This includes training in physical diagnosis, managing acute and chronic disease, well care, and prescribing medication. Most states require certification in a specific area of specialty. Most specialties focus on a specific population, for example, family nurse practitioner, pediatric nurse practitioner, and geriatric nurse practitioner. All states license nurse practitioners and allow them to prescribe medication. Only about one half of the states allow nurses to practice independently. Nurse practitioners provide primary care, including preventive, acute, and chronic care. A BSN is required to become a certified nurse midwife, and most complete a master's degree in nursing. Training includes courses in advanced practice nursing, including pharmacology, pathophysiology, and physical diagnosis. There is coursework in antepartum care, prenatal or before delivery intrapartum care, during delivery, and postpartum care, after delivery. There is also clinical coursework and training in the routine care of women's health. Only a few of nurse midwife programs are post-baccalaureate certificate programs. Licensure is required in all 50 states and the District of Columbia. Nurse midwives provide routine gynecology services, prenatal delivery, and postnatal care. Nurse anesthetists must have a BSN degree. A master's degree is required to be eligible for a certified registered nurse anesthetist, CRNA. Training courses in advanced practice nursing include pharmacology, pathophysiology, and physical diagnosis. Clinical courses include training in anesthesia simulation labs and supervised training in clinical anesthesia. Certification as a CRNA requires graduation from an accredited master's degree program and passing the National Certification Exam administered by the Council on Certification of Nurse Anesthetists. While there is no recertification exam, there is a requirement of 40 hours of continuing education every two years. CRNAs are licensed in every state, however, there is some variation in whether they are able to practice independently. There are many settings in which nurses practice. Long-term care focuses on patients that require long-term care and assistance with activities of daily living. Home health care is an expanding market. Nurses are able to provide care that would traditionally require daily or more frequent visits to a doctor or hospitalization. Examples include infusion of antibiotics and chemotherapy, care of surgical wounds and other postoperative care. Community or public health nursing focuses on the health of the population and includes screening, disease surveillance, and health promotion and education. As with any healthcare profession, there are opportunities for non-clinical roles. They sometimes require additional nursing or other graduate degrees. Nurse administrators are common in both hospitals and ambulatory settings. Nurses can play an active role in both basic and clinical research. They provide clinical and non-clinical teaching in nursing schools and in continuing nursing education. There is also a need for nurses to be involved in case management and quality improvement. A licensed practical nurse, 
LPN, has a shorter period of training, usually 12 to 18 months after high school graduation. Preclinical training includes basic sciences like pharmacology, anatomy and physiology, and preclinical nursing courses like medical terminology. Clinical courses include practical nursing studies with patient care under supervision, including infusing IV fluids and administration of oral and some IV medications. LPNs often receive a certificate of completion. All states and the District of Columbia require the National Council Licensure Exam, Practical Nurse, NCLEX PN, administered by the National Council of State Boards of Nursing, NCSBN. LPNs provide direct patient care and must be under the supervision of an RN or physician. State laws vary on whether LPNs may start and monitor intravenous fluids and administer IV medications. Most states that allow IV medication administration do not allow LPNs to push or rapidly infuse medications. Medical assistants usually complete a one-year certificate or a two-year associate degree. The training involves both medical and office administration courses, which often include medical terminology, coding and reimbursement, lab procedures, office patient care, and medications. They are not licensed, and roles include administrative and clinical duties in ambulatory settings. The patient care associate or certified nurse assistant are the terms more often used in an inpatient setting. The training is often on the job and may last one or two months. These professionals typically provide direct care of patients, including taking vital signs, changing bedding, assisting with eating, bathing, and other activities of daily living. The education and training of medication aides ranges widely from 15 to 70 contact hours. The training is predominantly on the administration of non-intravenous medications. Most states require an exam and a period of supervised medication administration. Some states require training as a certified nursing assistant as a prerequisite. In most states, medication assistants can administer oral, topical, and nebulized or metered inhaled medication. Many states restrict medication assistance to long-term care or assisted living facilities. This concludes Lecture B of Health Professionals, the People in Healthcare. In summary, this lecture describes the education, training, certification, licensure, and roles of nursing personnel, including nurses with RN and BSN degrees, advanced practice nurses, practical nurses, medical assistants, and medication aides. Roles are also described for nurses in specific work settings, specialty areas, and non-clinical positions. 